Well, hello there, Virgo. Welcome back to your weekend love reading. If you are new, welcome. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Please do smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings. I am here Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time for you guys to join in and see what your love reading is. It's going to be your weekend reading, and this is a channel for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get into this. What is going on for Virgo's weekend, May 19th through the 21st? Virgo, sun, moon, rising. Okay, you've got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. That's Friday. Saturday, you have flirts. Okay. Ooh, you have a jumper. And Sunday, romantic feelings. Okay, so Virgo, you know, Friday, there's this kind of like, hmm, what's going on? Who is this person? What kind of person am I looking for? Are we like equally yoked? Are we someone who believes in God? Do we both believe in God? Do we both believe in Allah? Are we both like atheists? You know, are we like, what? what is our alignment here? And so you're going to be asked, I feel like, or you will be kind of thinking about that on Friday. You could connect with somebody, but we'll see. Does somebody have, do you and another person have the same spiritual path? That's like a factor playing out here on Friday. Okay. So yeah, you might be connecting with some people on Friday, doing the party thing, the happy hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of getting into all of that, you know. Oh, what is this? Kind of getting into um, like ceremony. Maybe you're doing some kind of an event over the weekend, hanging out with some friends, circle of support. Maybe you're, you know, have a couple of dating options. Okay. Wow. Five of swords in the reverse. What? What? What the? Hmm. Peace after some kind of struggle. It's like some of you could be having a reunion with someone on Friday or some friends. And it's kind of like you get to you guys. So romantic wise, this could be reconnecting with someone for sure and yeah there is like this okay um, makeup so maybe there's a breakup and now there's like kiss and make up kind of get together um but yeah i just still feel like that question comes up for you like something to do with the spiritual path okay let me see here oh they just said somebody wants to um Okay, so they're giving an example like Virgo, if you believe in God or if you're a very spiritual person, somebody here wants to try to make up and like follow along in your on your spiritual path. Hmm. Hmm. Um, whoever this person is showing up here, it could be a water sign, it could be an air sign, but there was definitely an energy of like some nasty fighting and um, somebody's kind of like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that you were saying about God? What was that you were saying about the angels? Um, you know, that kind of thing. Like, can we talk about that? I don't want to fight. I need to, like, can we get get together? Can we connect? Okay. Virgo's like, no, you're dead to me. <laughs> Virgo's like, mm -mm. no, you're dead. You killed it. You're dead. It's over. Goodbye. Nada. Zip. Zero. Zilch. I'm out of here. But, um, yeah, some of you are going to definitely be like that. Like, you can go find God on your own time. You know, like, I don't know. What do you want me to tell you? Go to church. Seek him out. Figure out what you need to do for yourself. I I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you, maybe you'll get together with someone and send them some scriptures. Some, maybe you'll get together with someone and send them some, like, memes or some quotes or something. But for others, there's definitely something happening here. Somebody's changing Maybe they're changing their underwear finally. Maybe this was someone who just never changed their underwear enough times during the day, during the week. They were just, you know, crusty McCrab all week. I don't know why I'm talking about underwear, but yeah. Okay, so Virgo, pretty much um, could be a Scorpio here. Somebody is like making some kind of major change. La! You see all the glowing sunbeams coming down from the sky. Major transformation. An ending has happened. Ready for a new beginning. We're coming to God. Somebody here is coming to God. It's like, I have finally found the Lord. 
I know what it means. I'm, I'm figuring my life out, you know? Okay, Virgo. Virgo's like, mm -hmm. you know, I've been saying that the whole time. Like, you needed to, like, you know, Virgo's like, you know, if you're not God-centered, you're self-centered. So, mm -hmm. let me just get a clarifying card for the death card. Okay. Okay. Oh, Ten of Swords. Yeah. Ah, surrendering. Somebody's going to surrender to your, like, I don't know, whatever path you're on. I'm not judging. Whatever path you're on, that's your path. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're seeking, whatever your religious or spiritual beliefs are, somebody's like wanting to, I don't know, go sit and, I don't know, maybe they want to go to confession. Maybe they want to go sit in a church with you all day. Hmm. You might meet somebody too in some kind of religious event or spiritual community event. It could even be one of those like fairs that you go to over the weekend and, you know, you meet someone who kind of talks about like, I don't know, the apocalypse or something. And they're just like, yeah, I've surrendered myself. You know, I've, I hit the bottom I, or a deaf. It, maybe it's connecting with people or there's this talk about like, like, what is it called? Um, I died and came back. That kind of stuff going on here over the week on Friday. It, it doesn't have to absolutely be Friday. It could be over the weekend for sure. But yeah, you know. Um, okay, so Saturday you have flirt. Okay. Extend your light heart and energy to others. What's going on here? Okay. So, hmm. You're really putting your effort and energy into flirting this weekend, are you? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, my God. The heat is on. I'm just dying. I'm so hot. Okay. Um, mm. okay, what the, this is not making any sense. This is like complete opposite of what this flirt card is. Oh, no, okay, somebody's like trying to flirt with you, and Virgo's like, scoosh, I'm busy, I'm working, you're blocking, yeah, somebody's trying to flirt with you over the weekend, Virgo, and you're just kind of like, you know what, look, look, I have to work, I'm trying to like put money in the bank, I don't have time for this, look at me, I'm building my pentacles, you're outside working, Virgo. You're like, I don't know, you got the door shut. <laughs> Virgo, who's flirting with you? It could be a Capricorn. Uh, it could be an Earth sign. What's going on here? This is Saturday. What the heck's going on Saturday? You're not flirting. At first I thought you were. Somebody is trying to flirt with you, and, and like you're missing it. Like you don't even see it. You're, you're too focused on whatever you're doing. You're working at your computer. You're looking at your phone. You are at your job. You are just like, no, you're deflecting any kind of flirtations coming towards you. Okay, you've got the sun. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, I see you. Okay, somebody's just kind of like extending their energy towards you, trying to be real flirty with you, um, trying to communicate with you perhaps, um, sending you messages or something. And Virgo's like, you know what? I'll talk to you on Sunday. That's what I'm going to do. I'll talk to you on Sunday. You are like, I don't know what you have going on, but you look like you're too busy for someone on Saturday. You're too busy for anybody on Saturday. Okay, <laughs> Virgo's like, all right, I guess I'll just text them back. Fine, because they're going to keep texting me and keep flirting. And they're going to keep talking to me. I'll just shoot them a quick text. Just say, listen, can we talk on Sunday? Because I'm like, I'm up to my shoulders and shit this weekend. And I don't have the time. I don't want to devote the time. I can't. You're just, I don't know, Virgo. Virgo like gets to be in their bonnet about something. And doesn't most Virgos. Finish the task. Virgos are generally, for the most part, task-oriented. And Virgo has a task to do, and Virgo's like, everybody, out of the way. Virgo's clearing the path. I got stuff to do. I got to take care of this, take care of business. Who's flirting with you? It could be a Leo. Um, yeah, I have to sneeze, so hopefully I won't. Okay, yeah, yeah. So Sunday it is. Sunday, you're connecting with somebody. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so you're being honest with whoever's flirting with you over the weekend. Okay, I do feel like you connect with someone over the weekend. I don't know who it is, but you're connecting with someone over the weekend. I don't know if it's a past, a present, or a future lover showing up, but um, this person... 
it, it's something to do with like you know you guys connect in some way over like you have some spiritual talk maybe talk about astrology talk about zodiac signs or you know s something in this realm you know they in an alternative spiritual realm you have that connection and you know i don't know i feel like somebody especially may try to like reunite with you and have these conversations but like saturday you're just nope i'm out I'm not talking to anybody catch up with you on sunday sunday fun day all right let me see what's happening sunday virgo <laughs> virgo <laughs> Okay, wait. I can't with this. What? Okay. Now we've got a court card. King of Cups. Ooh, and the Ace of Wands. Ooh la la. Virgo. Um, okay. Yeah, there's there's a King of Cups here. King of Cups is like been spending if it's a male, which the King of Cups masculine. I mean the King of Cups is like got his hand on his rod and he's kinda getting busy. A little busy there, thinking about you, wants to connect with you, um, is not taking no for an answer. <laughs> you know, okay, so the King of Cups, listen, it could be a uh, Queen of Cups, and she's got her hands on them battery thing, jigs. So, not taking no for an answer. There's definitely going to be a connection. Um, could it be physical? Uh, yeah, it could be very physical on Sunday, um, or things are going to start. There's romantic feelings. Um, you will be, uh, well, there's an, there's an opportunity to connect with somebody here for sure on Sunday. And uh, I don't know where <laughs> I mean, I just feel like this King of Cups, like, is just, oh, oh, this, they're telling me this is a secret. Like, King of Cups does not want anybody to know that, you know, they've been like, wah, 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 with their Ace of Wands there, or Queen of Cups doing the battery thing. Yeah, it's like, nope, you can't know, I'm not telling anybody. Yep, nope, back off, stay out of my, stay out of my business. I feel like this, I feel like this person, oh, no wonder it's getting hot in here. Whoo, Virgo, what the, what the? All right, let me see, let me see, let me see. Sunday, there's definitely some kind of connection being made or some kind of talk. Talk of the town. Talk, talk, talk. Let me see. Amira's Love Oracle. What are the messages? <clears throat> friendship. Oh, yeah, you definitely got a friendship thing happening here over the weekend. Hooray! Lots of fun. I see you being with some friends over the weekend, or reuniting with some old friends, or just getting together with some new friends. And, you know, ugh, ugh, ugh. Hello, Twin Flame's back. Twin Flame is back. Okay, who's your Twin Flame, Virgo? Whoever your Twin Flame is, yeah, there's definitely some kind of reunion with a Twin Flame. And Virgo's like, yeah, but I'm not pushing this. I'm working. I got stuff to do. I have to, I don't know. I have to, like, clean the caps off of the milk containers this weekend. And it's going to take me all day. And while I'm doing that, I'm also dusting my light bulbs. Everybody leave me alone. There's stuff that needs to be done this weekend. So I'm working. That twin flame is just going to have to beep, 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 back up. Yes. Okay. So Virgo, you're an interesting person. <laughs> you're an interesting one, Virgo. Um, let me see if we can get like some descriptions. What the heck is going on here? My cards are all like, no, they're not. Just one. I'm blaming the whole pack when it's just one. Okay, let me see. Little features. All right, someone's tattooed. Look at them tattoos. Hala. Or henna. Tattoos or henna. So he's got a bird tattoo, an anchor tattoo. I mean, there's a snake around the arm. There might be a spider web on the elbow. Yeah, tat it up. Maybe it's you, maybe it's somebody else. And somebody's plus size. We got plus size. Is that showing up? Okay. Kind of, kind of yes, kind of no. Okay, somebody's plus size. What else? Oh, we've got someone with a mohawk. Mm hmm. I got some interest. So, okay, we could have a plus size tattooed mohawked person. 
okay um, or it's one okay we also have someone that has a mole look at that right above the lip got a little like um, Marilyn Monroe vibe going on there with dark hair okay maybe somebody's blonde they make their hair dark over the weekend we've got someone who is also average height average height is I don't even know average height is anywhere between <clears throat> five foot three and six foot <laughs> I don't know what average height is and not too tall not too short I guess okay let me see I guess it's different for men and women average height okay hazel eyes somebody's got hazel eyes okay is that you Virgo is that this person I don't know it's one of you let me see what your messages of love is are would be should be might be for the weekend okay wait the timing is not quite right oh I feel like Virgo's like, yeah, because I'm dusting my light bulbs. You're going to have to wait. I don't have time. I'll get back to you Sunday. And then we can have Sunday fun day. New love, recommitment to love, developing. Okay, Virgo. You know what? The weekend looks kind of like, I don't even know. Virgo, your junk drawer seems to be much more important <laughs> for the weekend. Especially Saturdays. Like, ugh, I got stuff to do. Fate. This is a destined... Oh, it's a destined partnership. Oh, my goodness. What does that even mean? Is somebody getting back together with someone? Or or are you, like, you're meeting somebody new and they're in a hurry to be with you? Or they, like, they feel the spark and they're, like, their whole life's changed. And, oh, I've been waiting for you to come into my life forever and ever and ever. And you showed up right here at my table at the Renaissance Fair. Or you showed up at my table at the craft fair. And here you are by my book. It's all about at the afterlife and you connect with someone <laughs> and then they're then they get all psycho and they want it they're like trying to nee, nee, nee. can you come out can you come out can you come out no i'm working light bulbs so yeah that's it how about that that was your quick weekend reading you know fridays i don't usually do the readings but because thursday or wednesday YouTube was flip-flopping all over the place and nobody was able to get their videos up. So I felt like, you know, I got to leave you guys with something here. But I did have a great night, day off. It was quite fantastic. I went and got my hair done. I did all my lovely Virgo things. Hey, you want a charm? Let me get you a charm. Show me the charm. Oh, holla. It's a new moon. I'm going to pull you a new moon card too. So wait for it wait for it all right what the hell is that oh here's that first remember i thought it was a squid no this is a this is a mermaid you got a mermaid or a merman barnacle boy i don't know yeah you got a mermaid definitely a fishy watery energy happening here over this weekend does that show up clear for you guys or am i just blind yeah you've got a mermaid so queen of water king of water um let's see you got one more Okay, you've also got, oh, you have double stars. Wow, big star, little star. What does that mean? Big star, little star. Huh, big star, little star. I don't know, you're going to see that somewhere. Somewhere there's like a bunch of stars. Maybe it's those stick them on the wall stars. There's a whole bunch of big stars and a whole bunch of little stars. And you use that like sticky stuff and you put it on like, a, put it on the wall or on the ceiling. So I guess they do that for kids' beds or kids' bedrooms. Or maybe you're going to plant those suckers all over your wall above your bed, your own bed or do something with that. Yeah. Big star, little star. So cute. Um, someone's last name might be star. Somebody's a star, superstar. You also have... You also have an angel wing, and it's a gold wing. There might be something to do with, like, a gold leaf, a gold leaf. Um, gold leaf, gold leaf, gold leaf. What does that mean, gold leaf? Is that, like, um, maybe something to do with jewelry, gold leaf? Or maybe you have, like, a gold leaf charm or something like that? Or you pick one up over the weekend. I kind of feel like you're going to some event or you're doing something here over the weekend that's, like... You know, I'm in this community, and I don't even know what to call this stuff. You're doing something over the weekend, some kind of, like, crafty 
spiritual where there's tarot readers and there's you know massage and you can buy some gems and crystals or making your plans or maybe it's the following weekend and there's like something something happens at this event it doesn't have to be that specific event you could be connected or maybe maybe you're participating in it or you're just attending it um or you're thinking about doing that or you see some kind of sign about that or you reconnect with some people um or this one particular person who uh, kind of reaches out to you and it's like hey just so you know like i'm with the lord now i'm like jesus and i he's sitting right here next to me and we're just having a chat. Do you want to come over and talk to Jesus? Because, like, he and I are like, I'm with him now. Yeah, yeah, I got angels. They're over there. You know, they're making donuts. And we're having a party. Come on over. It's a spiritual party. And, you know, I'm, I've am surrendered. And I know you're into that. And I want to do that, too. Because why? Like, I want to be with you. Okay. Okay. Let's see what your new moon message is here. Because the new moon, you know, you got to set your attentions. And new moon, meditate and contemplate. Holla. It is new moon in Pisces, but I don't know what the new moon is in. Because it doesn't say it on my calendar. I guess I could look, but I don't have my phone. So, well, the message either way. And, of course, it says Pisces because we're all, we got, like, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy playing out here. Um meditate and contemplate i feel like you gotta like i don't know is this like pray about it and contemplate think about things i don't know what that means for you set your intentions um to get yourself into more like um i guess it's like a prayerful i was just looking to make sure that i had put the hit the record button because i could have been talking all this time make sure that you um like you're setting your intentions to be more in a meditative state to contemplate more and not do things. I heard, ugh, something came to me today, and I, just before I started doing this reading, I was like, I gotta tell Virgo about this. And I thought, well, maybe I'll make a post in my community tab, but no, I'm just gonna say it. Um, so it, it's just this message that came. I don't know where it came from. I didn't see it anywhere, so it must be from spirit. So it was when you have to make a decision between your head and your heart, this is how it goes. If you're in an unhealthy relationship, and you walk away from that relationship and you feel bad, okay, every time. If you're in a toxic, unhealthy relationship, make, a dis make your decisions from your head. If you're in a healthy, loving, nourishing relationship, make your decisions from the heart. You don't want to make heart decisions, emotional decisions, if you're in an unhealthy relationship. You need common sense. If you're in an unhealthy relationship, your head is going to like put things in perspective and tell you what you need to do. Listen to your head. If you are stuck or in something that's just not making you happy, but your heart keeps saying, no, no, it's okay. Love them more. That's no, no, don't love someone more if they're treating you like garbage. No, 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 no. Okay, we go. So I just kind of feel like I need to tell you that. Maybe I will post it in the community tab. I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of like done. This is your weekend reading. I hope that you, I don't know what I hope. <laughs> I hope you get your light bulbs clean, Virgo. <laughs> all right, I love you all. Have a great weekend. I'll see you all back here on Sunday. Bye.